All right, gang. Dr. Ron Capps, a niche file. Uh, I've got another Empire Avenue tip tout and tutorial uh, for you uh, that involves the Chris Perillo Power Pack uh, for Empire Avenue. Those of you that have been on the Avenue for a while were probably on it when the Power Pack came out. But since that time, Empire Avenue has undergone certain changes. And you may not be aware of the Power Pack, or you may not be aware of a significant change to the Power Pack and how you can view the information. So I thought I would share with you today uh, by showing you a profile on Empire Avenue. Uh, first with Firefox Mozilla, and then uh, take a look at the Power Pack uh, from Chris Perillo, uh, the P3 uh, for Empire Avenue. And you can see the difference, and you can see what change has been made. Uh, to use the Power Pack, you need to be using the Chrome browser. And you'll see why you may want to use the Chrome browser for Empire Avenue after I show you this video. OK, I've taken a profile of someone I'm invested in. Uh, Elizabeth uh, is on Empire Avenue. Her uh, ticker symbol is Spanky. And as you can see, currently she's trading at 92.70. But if I want to find out any more information about her, I can click on that URL or that link right there on the number of shares I own. And it will give me some very useful information. It will tell me uh, the current price of the shares. It will tell me how many shares I own, how many they own, what my last transaction was. Uh, the current dividends they're paying out, yesterday's earnings and dividend, uh, and you know other basically useful information, uh, their Twitter activity and so forth. Now let's go over and let's take a look at what the Perillo uh, plugin will do. I'm going to pull it over from the other screen, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. The Perillo plugin, as you can see, provides you with some information. And the old format of the plugin, as you see going across here, put your return on investment and everything right up top here, right below the share price. Well, when Empire Avenue uh, redesigned their layout, all of that changed. And uh, you may be looking for it and not knowing where to find it. So follow me, and we're going to go take a look at it right now. Let's go take a look at the uh, profile for Spanky through Chrome browser. Okay, as you can see, everything here is the same. But now let me click on Shares You Own. And when I click on that, you're going to see part of the same information come up and a whole lot more. Uh, after the share price, you see the current break-even point. If I were to buy into her shares today, the current daily dividend yield, uh, days to payback, uh, shares owned by me, my average pur purchase price, as you can see, uh, I'm already uh, into profit on my average price, average daily dividend, average daily dividend per share, the dividend yield, days to payback, my return on investment, uh, information on my last shares, uh, you can go through the value in my portfolio, uh, her activity earnings uh, yesterday, uh, daily dividend per share for yesterday, and once again, her activity during the last week. So my point is, if you've been using the P3 plugin and didn't know where to go find the information and thought it uh, didn't uh, function anymore, uh, you'll notice that no longer is it located up under the share price. Instead, you will find it uh, down by clicking on the shares you own and giving you the information there. If you were to click on the shares they own in you, you can go through and you'll see uh, they have uh, the same information there. So really all you have to do is click on either of those right there and you'll get the breakdown uh, with the added ROI and yield data that you'll find uh, of potential value when you're working on the avenue and seeking uh, to continue or to divest uh, your shares and other people on the avenue. Anyway, another Empire Avenue tip, tout, and tutorial from Dr. Ron uh, Kavs, the niche prof of EmpireAvenueTips.info. Take care all and have a great day on and off the avenue.